dumb but is here to entertain you. It still feels like yesterday for having lost a great monumental and iconic South African DJ and my piano pioneer DJ somebody who has invested so many of his years as far as building the entertainment industry in South Africa is concerned. He has done so much for the industry and of course deaf ears and blind eyes cannot be given to this particular DJ. But in today's video, it seems like tubers have actually taken it so bitter upon themselves as if they want very drastic measures to be done to those who claimed to DJ somebody's life. An eye for an eye. And a tooth for a tooth. I'm about to give you all some very shocking details about what a tweeper said, so make sure you watch this video right up to the end so we shall analyze it detailly. But before I do so, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment, and hit on to my post notification bell. While paroling on Twitter yesterday, guys, I actually stumbled on this particular post of Tabo Yobalale, and of course, it reads, and I quote, the death of DJ Somebody and many others who died like him, men, women, and the children, and the recent release on parole of Walus confirmed the need of death penalties in South Africa. Every day in South Africa, people are slaughtered like animals. Hashtag DJ Somebody. This is a very pertinent one, guys. When I actually stumbled on this, I felt hurt, broken. What is human life becoming? I mean, why should you even decide to claim another person's life? If somebody has done you bad, are you supposed to pay that person back with bad? I understand that there is that tendency that when somebody hurts you, you want to hurt the person too. But we have to be alert. Is that what our creator expects of us? We are not the creators of life. We are not the givers of life and we have no right to take life back home. Whatever be the case, that's not definitely the end of it all. As more people even kept talking back to back as far as this particular DJ Somebody's case is concerned. Or should we talk about DJ Somebody's bodyguard who has definitely been laid to rest and nobody was even seen there. I mean no public person. All the people were on the media saying RIP, rest in peace, Sbu, rest in peace, Sbu. Nobody turned out for his lane to rest. Nobody attended his funeral. Everybody rushed to DJ Somebody's funeral. To a point where I asked myself, where are we heading to? Some people even went as far as dropping very hurting comments saying that they went to DJ Somebody's funeral because they wanted to rub shoulders with top South African celebrities. Dalton Jacobs commented and I quote, Everybody went to DJ Somebody's funeral cause they were more worried about rubbing shoulders with the SA celebrities. I mean, if this is definitely the case, then there should be a problem somewhere already because that is not what is supposed to happen. That is not a reason to actually go for someone's funeral. Go there because you love the person. Go there because you miss the person and because you want to pay your last respect to the person and you want to as well tender a supporting hand to the family of this person and not because of other primordial motives. Tell me what you think about all of this in the comment section. I love you all so dearly from the bottom of my heart.